From The Advocate, a special report on the Democratic National Convention. The Democrats must be feeling pretty exhilarated, not to mention tired, after an exciting, historic, and emotional week here in Denver. But a big political battle looms ahead. For the LGBT community, our unprecedented coverage of the Democratic National Convention has documented remarkable progress in the fight for equality. And no one has seen it more than my two colleagues from The Advocate, Sean Kennedy and Carrie Elleveld, who've been in the trenches with the LGBT caucus and delegates all week. Carrie, let's start with you. Aside from the more inclusive nature of this convention, is there anything else that stands out for you? Absolutely, James. The most interesting development in terms of the Democrats and Obama's 50-state strategy has been the way that gays and lesbians in red states have been able to get involved for the first time in years. Tell me what kind of outreach you guys have been doing at the Obama campaign to traditionally red states. Well, within the LGBT community, like the campaign in general, we really do have a 50-state campaign. This amazing primary has built campaign infrastructure in every state across this country and has brought people out of the woodwork who really want to be involved, not just in electing Barack Obama, but in electing fair-minded Democrats up and down the ballot. So states like Montana and North Dakota, Georgia, North Carolina, states that Democrats haven't really competed in at the presidential level in the last couple of years are really in play this year. It's an ambitious strategy, but you can be sure the Republicans will be shoring up their support state by state as well. Sean, how about you? What, what's been most surprising to you this week? Well, James, what was most surprising to me was how easily the Clinton delegates fell into the Obama campaign. We were prepared for lots of tension with the roll call vote. There was a march in support of Hillary through downtown Denver this week. But the Clinton delegates that I talked to were definitely ready to get on board with electing Barack Obama, the next president of the United States. So even though you were originally a Hillary supporter, um, you're, you've come full circle and now you're embracing Obama for president. Um, definitely. Starting when I go back to Houston, I will work with the Harris County Coordinate Campaign, which we're going to work hard um, as a volunteer, that is. And we're going to work hard to make sure that everybody will go ahead and vote straight ticket. That straight ticket includes Senator Barack Obama. You know, I'm like a lot of Hillary supporters, like a lot of the 18 million people out there who voted for her. I put a lot of time a lot of energy, a lot of dedication into her. And this week I'm really looking forward to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, to honoring her, to uh, showing her the respect that she deserves for casting my ballot, to show that this woman has done something no other woman has ever been able to do in history. And then coming out of here, after Denver, I think we're all going to be able to uh, join in and support Senator Barack Obama, just like Hillary's done. At least publicly, the divisiveness among Democrats seems to have healed, but there are still a lot of voters on the fence. What is clear is that the party is paying more attention than ever to voices within the LGBT community. I think we can all agree on that. For Sean Kennedy and for Carrie Elleveld, I'm James Hattori. Thank you so much for joining the Advocates' coverage of the 2008 Democratic National Convention.